Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. This is Fumibi here again, even though this is not Fumibi's face that you're seeing. I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be getting my beautiful friend here from a hair looking dry and just crusty to looking nourished and moisturized like this. Do you guys like what you see? This is what this video is about. I'm going to be showing you how I got her hair from dry and just not moisturized to super duper moisturized and nourished. If you want to see how that is going to happen, then you definitely want to keep watching. Okay guys, I'm sure by now a lot of you guys already know Chidera. Chidera is my beautiful friend that helped me with that box braid hairstyle that I made two videos ago or thereabouts. I'm sure you guys know Chidera. So I'm going to be moisturizing her hair today. Chidera has never ever moisturized her hair. Her own definition of moisturization is just applying water on her hair. So she has never actually gone ahead to apply leave-in conditioner and take all those steps that I always tell you guys to take when moisturizing your hair. So today I'm going to be moisturizing her hair the proper way for the very first time. And you guys will see a reaction at the end of the video. So if you want to see what she thinks about this whole process at the end of the video, then you definitely want to keep watching. Don't skip any part of this video. So yeah, as usual, if you're an OG on this channel, you know how I normally start my moisturization process. I like to work with quadrants on myself and on other people. So all I'm doing now is I'm dividing Chidera's hair into four parts. You guys should just ignore her. She talks a lot and I talk a lot as well. So this, this whole process was just gisting session for both of us while having fun recording the whole process for you guys. So ignore us if from time to time you just see us laughing out loud and all that stuff so yeah i'm just dividing chidera's hair into four parts before i now begin to moisturize properly once i'm done parting her hair into four i'm going to now start with the process of moisturization but before i start moisturizing i'm just going to go ahead to massage my grease mix that you guys know about if you don't know what is in my grease mix i'm going to link that video somewhere here for you guys to go ahead to check that out Chidera's edges are kind of struggling so all i'm doing now is i'm just going to be helping her manage her edges basically for the next couple of months so i'm just massaging that my grease mix into her edges to make sure that her hair follicles are kind of you know triggered to start doing what they're supposed to do basically the reason why her hair cuts was because she just recently made a braid hairstyle like i did at the beginning of the year i'm sure you guys already know that story so the braids basically cut her edges so now i'm just going to try as much as possible to help her regrow her edges i just moisturized her hair by spraying water first of all next up i'm going to go in with my mael hawaiian ginger leave-in conditioner and i'm just going to apply that into the section of the hair i'm working with currently i'm also massaging a bit of that leave-in conditioner into her edges remember you guys don't ignore your edges make sure that you also apply products on your edges your edges needs those products to grow effectively so i'm just going back in with water because the hair feels kind of dry so i'm just spraying some water with this my beautiful spray bottle that i already gave you guys a gist about i love it so much it does the spritzing of the product into your hair fantastically so if you don't own one you should actually consider getting one so once i'm done doing that we're going to move outside because <laughs> the light went out so yeah i needed daylight to continue filming this video for you guys so this is me in my balcony area filming this video for you guys all i'm doing now is i'm just carefully detangling her hair with a white tooth comb you guys already know the drill don't use a small comb to detangle your hair you need a white tooth comb to detangle and once that is done just section out that part that you already moisturized either by weaving or by twisting but for me i like to twist hair a lot so i'm just going to be twisting up this section that i already moisturized before going ahead to work on the other parts of the hair if you're wondering what is on chidera's edges i just apply some shea butter there because like i said earlier our edges need a lot of attention so i'm just going to be managing our edges like i mentioned so all i'm doing now is just massaging some shea butter into our edges just to help with growing our edges back once that is done i'm going to go ahead to apply that same process to all the other sections of the hair that i did so you know I'm, i have four sections right so i'm going to just repeat the same process on those other sections spray water apply your leave-in conditioner 
apply some grease or your hair butter for the purpose of this video i used shea butter so i'm using butter this time not grease and just massage your hair massage your um, scalp and just do what you're supposed to do i have a lot of videos of hair moisturization so you want to make sure that you catch up on those videos just to know how i normally go about moisturizing my hair moisturization is one of my favorite parts of my hair regimen i don't joke with it at all everybody that knows me i get a lot of compliments when people see my hair in real in real life and they're like oh my god your curls are popping your hair looks very nourished very moisturized that is the advantage of moisturizing your hair properly and i have a lot of videos here where i show you guys how i go about it so yeah again i'm going to go ahead to detangle by combing her hair from her tips to her roots you're not starting from the roots to your tip it, it will cut your hair basically so just start from detangling the tips of your hair and gradually begin to work your way towards the root of your hair just like i'm doing now like i said i'm going to repeat the same process on all the other sections i kind of sped up this part of the hair because i didn't want the video to just be repetitive and boring for you guys so i'm going to go ahead and tackle the back of our hair and i'm just going to show you guys the finished product all right then this is me done with moisturizing most of the sections of our hair i'm just going to twist up and do all that and then just massage 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 our scalp properly just to help blood circulate on our scalp blood circulation in your scalp is part of the things that triggers hair growth on your head so make sure that once you're done moisturizing your hair you go ahead to massage 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 for say 10 5 depending on you just massage your scalp really really well to get good results this is me now just trying to style our hair in a cute hairstyle chidera doesn't want to put her hair in any protective style because she plans to go out at some point so i'm just here to just help her pack her hair up while she decides how she wants to rock her hair all i'm going to do is just two poofs on her hair and yeah she would figure out whether she wants to rock it that way or change it up a little bit so this is me just packing her hair and still focusing on the edges guys this is like my newfound hobby helping people manage their hair is like something that gives me so much joy now so all i'm doing now just to make our curls pop is i'm going to be using this luster's hair curl activator and that's all i'm just spraying on the poof of our hair just to give it some you know yum yum curls and just make a curl pattern look very defined and just beautiful so i'm just here doing the absolute most adjusting doing this and that and all that you guys should just ignore me this is means using this same s curls curl activator just to make our curls pop and all that stuff once i'm done doing this now i'm going to help her lay her edges because her edges are not looking laid now and what i'm going to be using is my echo styler gel the olive oil the one that is in the green pack and once that is done we are pretty much done with this video if you've been enjoying this video so far if you've been getting value from this moisturization process please 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 hit that thumbs up button so i know you are getting value i'm here to provide you guys with value and you guys will only show me that i'm doing well if you want to let me know that i'm doing well please 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 hit that thumbs up also if you're watching this video currently and you're yet to subscribe to my channel please 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 don't just be watching my video join my family already you know you love it here so just hit that subscribe button tap the bell notification right beside it as well so you'll be a part of this gang of hair lovers and beauty lovers all i'm doing now is just laying the edges at the back as well just to make the hair look really really neat and put together do you guys agree that this hair looks really really moisturized compared to what you saw at the beginning of the video the hair looks nourished it looks alive it looks beautiful and just curly this is how your african hair should look you shouldn't be carrying dry crusty hair you make sure that you just take your time it's not take your time guys just devote to showing your hair love and you will not regret it this is what chidera's curls look like she has beautiful hair of course and yeah i'm just here to just show you guys the finished result this is pretty much it this is all this white thing that you're seeing here is a curl activator it's going to dry out after a while and it won't be there anymore moisturizing your hair is a very important part of your hair care routine if you're not moisturizing your hair and you say you're taking care of your hair you're just you're just lying to yourself so make sure that you take your time to moisturize your hair as soon as it feels dry don't wait for anybody to tell you once your hair starts to feel dry and crusty just 
moisturize your hair sharply and you'll be all right thank you guys so much for watching also if you are still watching if you have made it to this point in the video and you're yet to subscribe please do well to join the family by hitting that subscribe button down below and tapping the bell notification right beside it as well also if you enjoyed watching please give me a big fat thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching i can't wait to see you bye